right, guys, it is 7.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 19th, 2017. Oh boy, we've got some updates with Maria. Um, I just want to recap on this major earthquake we've had in Mexico. Guys, over 40 people that I saw, it's probably higher now. The number will rise. rise. Uh, over 40 people have died in that earthquake. Uh, just devastating. Uh, buildings collapsed. People all over the streets. Uh, there's tons of video out now and pictures and... It's just a devastating situation. And then, guys, on top of that, we have Hurricane Maria now. Uh, this is a record-breaking storm, guys. This thing is now at sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. Uh, that was actually announced before they announced the pressure drop. Guys, this storm is at 909 as far as pressure goes. I brought up some pictures for you just to bring up some stats about past hurricanes. Just to give you an idea, Hurricane Irma at 185 mile per hour sustained winds was at 914. Again, Hurricane Maria is now at 909. So expect winds higher than 185 miles an hour, guys. This is why I put so much emphasis on those 200 mile per hour winds. I took a lot of... Uh, stuff for putting those numbers on there but guys this is why I put those numbers there this hurricane formed so quick and got strong so fast that I just I couldn't see it not happening and now when we're at 909 pressure we could be talking sustained winds at 190 miles an hour with gusts of over 200 that is a very good possibility now I just want to show you some stats once again these are the highest winds recorded for Atlantic hurricanes uh, for over one minute. This is held for a minute. Uh, Hurricane Allen currently has the record for 190 miles an hour. We have Wilma, which was 185. I'm sure a lot of you remember that from 2005. Uh, we have Irma on the list in the second uh, place spot with these four storms for 185. Just to give you an idea of what we might be dealing with here, uh, 909 is the pressure. I I am seeing sustained winds over 185. Don't be surprised if you see that number. And again, that is why I put so much emphasis on the 200 mile an hour uh, winds. Uh, this, uh, for record, is the lowest pressures ever recorded for an Atlantic hurricane. Uh, the record going to Wilma in 2005, 882. That is insane. Uh, we do have a 10th place right now for Hurricane Maria. Um, it took over this spot, number 10, beating uh, Hurricane Cuba and Ivan. Uh, guys, I th I'm seeing this pressure drop even more. There's nothing to stop this storm. There's still space in between where it is and Puerto Rico, unfortunately. Those poor people, guys, they are going to be dealing with a record-breaking storm. And just to remind some of you that may not know, Category 5 starts at 155 miles an hour plus... So we are well past that at this point. So we are at a catastrophic hurricane and more. Okay, so guys, this is serious stuff. This is uh, this might be the strongest storm that I uh, remember uh, being consciously uh, uh, awake to, to uh, studying and looking at. I've never seen a storm form this quick. I believe there was one storm that actually went from Tropical Storm to Cat 5 about an hour sooner than Irma did or I'm sorry, than uh, Maria did. But guys, just look at the expansion of this storm still. And this is after making landfall on an island, devastating it, basically devastating the entire island. And this thing is still growing on its way to Puerto Rico. Uh, guys, I'm not sure what much else to say about this storm, especially to the people in Puerto Rico. For those of, the pe for those of you that are still there, it's time just to get to a safe place and... And that's all you can do at this point. I mean, we're talking, we have uh, until Wednesday morning, until basically you will not be able to do anything in this entire island. So it is time to be prepared. It's time to hunker down and, and get ready for this monster. This thing is no joke at all. Really quick, here is what Jose is doing. Jose is going to sit here for three or four days while Maria now makes its trip up the East Coast. Models are now agreeing much closer to the East Coast, and I'm going to show you that soon. Um, and also, guys, uh, not uh, some more uh, not-so-good news. Um, if you notice here off the coast of Africa, there is a big grouping of severe storms coming off there. I know it's early to uh, predict any sort of tropical depression or storms, but at the rate things are going, guys, do not see, be surprised if we see another tropical depression coming off the west coast of Africa. These storms are just coming back to back to back to back, and it just seems like it's non-stop at this point. Um, just to give you an idea, 
This is Maria here. These are the remnants of uh, of Lee, which has, uh, I believe, a 30% chance now of returning as a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm again. We're just going to have to wait and see. But this area here is concerning to me just based on the thickness, the density of these storms and the wind patterns coming off of here. These are the telltale signs of a tropical depression about to form. We're going to keep our eye on that. Here are the current uh, spaghetti models for Maria uh, shifting closer to the east coast. We have one model bringing it right up next to Nor uh, North Carolina and the Virginia area near Chesapeake Bay. And now, guys, I'm going to show you our tropical tidbits models. This one here is our GFS. So I'm going to backtrack, and we're going to take a look. There's Jose projected to do a loop, backtrack, sit on the coast and then sort of fade out with the jet stream which is what uh, we kind of wanted Jose to stay around for maybe that uh, Fujiwara effect to bring Maria out into the ocean it doesn't look like that is going to happen anymore so now we may be dealing with Maria on the east coast again this is the GFS bringing it right off the coast of where the Chesapeake Bay is southeast New Jersey and then the tip of uh, the south side of Long Island this may change, guys. It may get closer, but these st this is being based off of our jet stream, okay? Our jet stream is not moving fast enough to push this storm out, and every hour that goes by, it's inching closer and closer to the east coast. So this is what we're dealing with now at 954 pressure. That's a serious, serious storm. I'm going to switch over to the European model, which is basically the only model uh, keeping this thing in the ocean for right now. We have Jose doing its thing. And then, it, uh, according to this, it doesn't get pulled out by the jet stream. It actually sits here, and then Maria makes its way up. And this is our only hope for the Fujiwara effect, is what the Europeans are showing us now. That little bit of lingering by Jose will hopefully keep Maria off the end. But guys, every time I come back to this model, it becomes less and less. Maria was out here about two hours ago. Now it is closer to the coast. I'm going to give you the Navgem version really quick. i got to switch this to the previous September 19th so we can get more frames and this is what they're saying right now guys Jose will leave the area and then we have uh, almost landfall North Carolina and Virginia so guys this storm has clearly shifted closer to the east coast as far as the models go it has gotten so much stronger it's still getting stronger uh, just to give you an idea between just a cat 1 and a cat 3 is 50 times strength so a, cat, a Category 3 storm is 50 times stronger than a Category 1. Just to give you a little idea of how different these storm strengths can be and how serious of a situation this is. Again, here is the satellite, guys. We are approaching Puerto Rico at this moment. Um, they don't have much time to get ready. Uh, this thing is going to hit Puerto Rico, whether it's the... the the east side of it, which is where San Juan is. San Juan is to the eastern end of the island. Um, regardless, this storm, the uh, the eye wall and the surrounding winds, the dangerous winds are going to cover this entire island. And then we need to watch it as it passes through Santo Domingo. And that's when we really need to focus on this storm and see what we're going to be dealing with. Because if there's nothing to stop this storm in its path, the only thing that we can hope for is the fact that these waters here are about five to six degrees cooler than these waters, and that's all we have right now. And then we can rely on our Atlantic water, Atlantic waters on the uh, east side of Florida that are a little cooler. But guys, the way this storm's traveling, I don't see it getting any weaker anytime soon. That's why I'm putting emphasis on those 200 mile an hour winds. I took a lot of uh, stuff for for saying that, but guys, we're heading right in that direction. Uh, we could get 200 mile per hour gusts uh, as early as a couple hours from now. And I know that's horrible to think, but it's the truth. This is reality, guys. We need to be re uh, realistic about this storm. There's no joke about it. It's uh, devastating. It's going to do a lot of damage to Puerto Rico, unfortunately. And that's just where we're at. And we need to watch this thing closely. And we need to make sure that... Um, any sort of risk we have on the East Coast, people need to be talking about this. They need to be watching the weather. I recommend the Weather Channel more than anything because they are constantly covering this storm. Um, yes, it is good to go online and get uh, private info from people that are also watching this storm constantly, like myself. Uh, there's many other great channels out there that I'm sure you guys know about. But 
This is serious stuff, guys, and then we may have another storm coming off the west side of Africa. Again, here are those spaghetti models sh shifting a little bit to the east, and this is all because of our jet stream. The jet stream loop that we're waiting for to come down low and push this storm out is just not moving quick enough. And once again, I'll run you through NavGem. This is what they have projected. Jose loops back, sits right off the northeast coast, then gets pulled away by the jet stream that we wanted to pull Maria away. And then Maria, these are the last frames, unfortunately. It looks to be going right up towards Chesapeake Bay. Sorry about that, my mic was turned. Um, head uh, tur uh, seems to be going right up towards Chesapeake Bay, South New Jersey, and that's going to put Long Island, that's going to put every one of these states here, guys, at a big, big risk. This is why I'm putting so much emphasis on this storm, and this is why it's so important, guys. We may never see a storm like this again. Um, hopefully we won't, but this thing is breaking records left and right. Guys, if there's any major changes, you know I will bring them to you. Again, we are at 909 as far as pressure goes, and... Uh, according to the charts, 175 mile per hour sustained winds, that will rise, guys. I will talk to you all very soon.